I was just thinking, you know what I miss? Mm. Having a podcast producer. Yeah. I know that you don't need one. It's not. It's a. It's a luxury. Mm-hmm. But just having someone come in, set up the stuff, and handing you your microphone and being like, "Okay, go." Yeah. I miss having that in my life. You got You can't take that for granted. I miss Matt Anderson. I miss Matt Anderson too as a person. He was very. He's a very nice boy. This is going to be a crossover episode, so just to let everyone know, I am 33 weeks pregnant, and Mike and I just had a baby shower this weekend. And before we get into that, because we got a lot to get into, mm-hmm. we're gonna. I think what we're going to do is we're going to rate our family members at, and their behavior at the Can baby shower. Can you push shower. these flowers over? Because I can't see your face. All right. We're going to rate the family members. Sounds good. Um, but before we do- On a scale do, of what to what? One to ten. I think oh, we should no, do five. Oh, no, on a five. scale of 35 to uh, 74. No, one to five. One to ten is too big. It's too arbitrary. One to five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. One to five. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just saying I miss having Matt around. I miss him showing up. I just miss him, you know, being mm-hmm. there, coming down to uh Yeah, it would be really sweet if somebody Astoria. just, like, handed you all your stuff, uploaded oh. everything, oh, edited boy. it. Edited it, uploaded it. All I had to do was show up and just run my stupid mouth. Yeah. And just say And you acted say like such a opinions. hot shot. Like, you can do it all on your own. I can do it all on my own, but I don't want to. Well, you you don't do it gracefully. I don't do it gracefully. <laughs> no. Fine. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> and he, he was also good because he was like a mom to you. Like, he'd be like, we got to do the podcast. Well, it's stressful because you think, you know, you're like, I've been putting this off all day. I was supposed to do this yesterday. Mm-hmm. I didn't book a guest. Sunday, Sunday, I was like, I got to book a guest. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I don't know who I could ask. I mean, I have a lot of, like, great get in my Rolodex. I have a bunch of people. Yeah. Do you feel like you put a lot of roadblocks up for yourself? I don't know. I just kind of feel like... When it's so, I I should uh, usually I should have the show booked by like sun Sunday's kind of like the good day, yeah. Because we try to record on Tuesday, Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. We're doing this late Wednesday night, but mm-hmm. so Sunday I should be like I should have somebody on Sunday, yeah. And th- I could get like I could get I could get Shane Gillis and Nick Mullen on an episode, maybe you know. Yeah, I you could. could. Get, I could get Soder and his girlfriend to do a relationship episode. These are all the ideas that I have. Yeah, but you just like kind of just, avoid, avoid, avoid. But I just feel like I'm imposing on people to, to uh, like, I feel like... Uh, you make me want to, like, intrude on your phone and computer and just, like, fine. mass text people. But I feel like anybody who has to hang out, with, ha- I feel like hanging out with me probably sucks. <laughs> I have no self-esteem. <laughs> I hate myself. Hanging out with me sucks. So but I like, don't want to put anybody through that. I don't know why you think that. You're the most loved person in this house. Am I? Yeah, I'm not as yeah, loved what as Yeah, what's the bar? You and a couple dogs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, I I'm mean. I'm the most popular person in this house. Yeah. Two of the people in this house, I they depend on me to eat. Not really, because I feed them, and I buy all the food. Yeah. You don't even make sure they have food. I set an alarm on the Alexa that says, reminder, yeah. feed the dogs, and you ignore it. Twice a day, you ignore it. I do, because you usually do that. Yeah, so yeah. you they don't depend on you for anything except walks. I just feel like I always have to, I, 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 I dislike myself so much that I am like, nobody wants to hang out with you, so you're asking for a favor. Because you suck. Mm. Well, you should chill with that. You know, your energy and I, introduces you before you. You know what ever happened to me speak. today? What? My phone died when I had to be somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was so mad at myself. And yeah. I had to ask someone for help. A stranger, yeah. I, I had called to go them to back because you called me. You did? Yeah. I had to go to a gas station. Mm hmm. And I had to, like, <laughs> you called them back like you were my mom. Yeah, I was like, did my husband use your phone? He's like, yeah. And I was like, is he gone now? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, bye. <laughs> I was too embarrassed to go back because I hate having to ask. It feels so shitty to ask strangers for help. It feels so shitty. I guess you, if you get used to it, it's kind of like shoplifting. You yeah. got to like break through the, uh-huh. the, the embarrassment of it. 
break well, through the bad feelings. Luckily, I have your email on my phone, and I saw you took an Uber. Yeah. And it was, you just were off by, by one letter. One number. Because I had to go do it yeah. one number. Because I had to go do a job, for an assembly job for a friend of mine. Yeah. And I rem- and she texted me the address, and I and it was the certain, the street. Because I was, because I was, so I'm like without my phone, and I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm like, people usually don't mess up their own address. Mm-hmm. So I must have made a mistake. So did you go lives to that on, address and knock and everything? Yeah, there's no building there. <laughs> the, Uber driver, the, the Uber driver dropped me off in, in nothing. So it was like that time when you got it dropped was like off nothing, to Boy Scouts then, and there yes. was no meeting and you ran outside. Now you're referencing a story that <laughs> most people probably don't know. What happened? My Tell grandmother me. dropped me off at Cub Scouts one time. <laughs> and I went into the room and it was it was at a school and it was dark out and nobody was in the in the room where <laughs> we usually met. I didn't know the meeting got moved to the library. <laughs> so she dropped me off and I go into the <laughs> building, there's nobody there, and I run out of the school and I start chasing her car. <laughs> we only lived about a mi- uh, like a quarter mile from the school. Yeah. Were you screaming? I was like, wait. And I still remember, like, she's she had curlers in her hair. <laughs> she had, like, she, <laughs> she's always doing stuff to her hair. And she, she had, like, her hair was in curlers, and there was a net over it. And she was just driving. And I'm literally, like, right behind her. <laughs> like, I was so close. And she didn't see And she you. didn't see me. Or she's just She probably like, did see me. This kid is so needy. I, he needs to go to Cubs. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Pinot grape. <laughs> So how did you find the, that they were in the library? Because she, I went to a neighbor's house, and then she called my mom, and then my mom was like, "Oh, there's a." My mom was like, "Oh, they're not in the in that building; they're in the other room." So then I got back to the li- I got back to the library with like fifth ten minutes left in the Cub Scout because I was already late. And were you like all panting and out of breath and crying? I forget. <laughs> Probably. That I would have liked to stay stressful. home with my mom anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, that's how you felt when you thought you got to the address and it was wrong. Yeah. I didn't have my cell phone on me today and my phone was dead. And I. Yeah. And you lost and your keys this morning. And I lost my keys this morning. Mm-hmm. And I was. And I. So do you think it's time you start combined. taking some Adderall? Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Those two things combined, I was like, I am the most worthless piece of shit in the whole world. <laughs> and I was like, but I, but I actually found the building, like a detective. <laughs> yeah. Because she dropped me off at. I don't know if I can reveal the building, but let's say it was Barter Street. Let's say she lives it. Let's say hypoth- for, Let's say you don't hypothetically. even have to say the street. It was a hundred off. So like instead so of so I messed up one letter, one number. Yeah. So yeah. let's see. She lives on. So she no. But here's the thing though, she lives on. Uh, she lives at this address. So I was like, so the guy drops me off, and there's the, I go to the closest building. It says like something hotel, mm-hmm. and I go, hey, I'm going up to three k, and the guy's like, we don't have a three k. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, and I walk out. I'm like, fuck, because it's all. Housing projects. And you couldn't just use the hotel phone? (laughs) I guess I could have, but there's something about asking to use a phone, especially during COVID. Yeah. Where you're just like, oh, I got to be this guy. Yeah. You ever, you ever have, like, like, are you ever on the street and somebody comes up to you and they go, hey, can I use your phone? Do you have a phone? You go like, all right, I guess I should help you out, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, it hasn't happened in a, a long time. But yeah, I'd probably now I'd say no. Yeah. But yeah. My friend Andy told me one time he this guy came up to him in Boston and he was like, "Hey man, can I use your phone?" Some like some like trashy Boston guy. And he and uh He stole it? No, but he took the phone. And he goes, "Hey man, my phone got stolen at the gym." And he's and then he starts like just yelling racial slurs oh. <laughs> like into Andy's phone. <laughs> oh no. And he's like, "Thanks man." He gives him the phone back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Which is really funny. Mm-hmm. Um you threatening somebody with somebody's phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um 
a guy came up to me recently and he was like, he asked me to call him an Uber. He he was like, can I give you cash to call me an Uber? Yeah. I'm like, there's no way this isn't a scam. But it wasn't a scam. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, he needed a taxi. It's not like you could flag one down. Yeah. This isn't going to work as a crossover episode if we don't start talking about All right. pregnancy or something. So anyway, but let me just tell you how I found this building. So yeah. she lives on 490. F- she so I thought she lived on 495 Barter Street. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, so I'm walking around. I'm like, where's the at? There's got to be an address. And then I remembered where she said she lived. And then I'm like, well, what if it's like, a, what if I was just off by one number? Mm-hmm. I don't know how I did that because I made because my phone battery was low when I had to leave because I was running late. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, I memorized the address. 495 Barter Street. Apartment 3K. 495 Barter Street, Apartment 3K. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, all right, all right. So I get out of the Uber, and I'm like, that's not the right address. Then right next to Barter Street is Butler Street. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, did she mean to say Butler Street? Because she just moved. Did she not know where she... But people don't really mess up their yeah. own address. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, no, nah, that's probably not it. But I just... Anyway, I found it. Okay. I go maybe it's maybe it's that way, and I just I just went down. I stayed on Barter Street that she told me it was, mm-hmm. and I ended up finding it. I messaged her I to know. be like, "Go out and scream." <laughs> Go out. Yeah, yeah, that's just like, yell from yeah, the yeah, yeah. No, if you, th- your cell phone <laughs> dies, that's the best. That's the only with a megaphone. Yeah, just go yeah. find my husband. Yeah, please. He's very distraught. <laughs> he's out there and he's scared. <laughs> he asked a stranger for help. <laughs> he had to go to a gas station and asked to use a phone. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and it's not like if people, your, your phone dying, mm-hmm. you might as well be a crackhead who's like, it's no one cares that your phone died. Right. You might as you're a degenerate. If your phone dies, you're a degenerate. I don't know. You're getting a little sk- extreme here. No, you know, but like the way you're perceived. Everyone understands that like the phone dead is no good. I just felt like a like a Japanese guy where I was like, I I am so <laughs> dishonorable. <laughs> I have to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, you um, survived and yeah. you used your Colombo skills to figure it out. Thank God. Thank God I have a good brain on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So is it time to talk about... All right, so... So I'm 33, th- 33 weeks pregnant. 33 weeks pregnant. The I have no is idea. The the size of a pineapple. Imagine that the baby has like a Chiquita banana hat and he's shaking maracas mm. in the, yeah, he in looks the womb good. right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. She's 33 weeks pregnant. I don't know why people do this in weeks. You have to do math. 33 weeks, 19 weeks, 17 weeks. It because means nothing. Because it varies. To me. The baby changes so much by week uh-huh. that, like, to say eight months pregnant, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, so, but where are you? Because you could be, um, you know, I think 28 weeks. Yeah. I don't know what, yeah, like 28 to 30. I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right, so we had this baby yeah. shower. Mm-hmm. We're having ten people at the house. It's got to be over Zoom. Nine, nine, nine people. people at the house. It's go. It's over Zoom. We have people on the Zoom. Every people get together. We have some family over, so we we gotta we gotta cook. And we gotta prepare some food. My mom calls me a couple days before, and she goes, "Just keep it. Just keep it simple." And I go, "All right." I yelled at my mom. That's yeah. how, that's how the part. A couple like, days before. It's my party. I don't cry if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's it's my house, it's my party, and I'm gonna make it as complicated I said, as fun. I want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's not her call. I mean, right? Yeah, I agree. It's your party. Because some of the functions that we go to, like we, you show up and there's like two things to eat. Yeah. Not that I ha- not that that's a complaint because it's fine. Mm-hmm. But we don't really like go that hard with food. No, and our food we're never got like, eaten. oh, look at all this food. My my grand yeah, that's why I miss that's why I miss my grandmother because she kind of went hard in the paint. Mm-hmm. My Italian grandmother, you yeah. know, yeah. shrimp cocktail, mozzarella sticks, yes, homemade pasta, did it, yeah. Um, so, so we were registered at Baby List, which I highly recommend if you are having a baby, just register with Baby List. It's great. It means like you don't have to commit to one store; you can register for anything from any store. So that's my. Tip. We're not even sponsored. 
No, but we should be. Yeah. I'll reach out. All right. So, um, Deb's family shows up. Her mom. Well, so your family came first. So my mom and sister came first. They show up. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna help you set up and everything." Then Deb's mom comes way too soon. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, that's how my mom came in. Yeah. <laughs> so she comes in, and I don't know why. Now she came to visit us a couple. So we're gonna rate your. So we'll rate your mom first. She comes in. Now she came to visit us. I think it was like a Monday morning a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. She came in. We had prosciutto bread. She was very loved. She saw our apartment. Yeah. Our apartment was nice and clean. She was very pleasant and lovely, you know? Yeah. I don't know what was going on with her on Sunday, but... She was anxious. She was a little out of control. She was anxious. Yeah. Yeah. She came in just like... She came in hot. Mm -hmm. She doesn't come in... She's not, like, angry. She just is so, like... Her arousal level is so high. She's, like, doesn't know what to do with herself. She can't relax. She's constantly screaming my name. She can't, she doesn't want to do anything to help, but she wants everyone to pay attention to her. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's a challenge, but yeah. uh, it's a challenge that I've had to grow up with. Yeah. So I suppose I'm used to it. Yeah. I'd give her she's a three. Very, she's very, right. She's high, she's high strung. She's, um, she's definitely, I mean, it's, you know, it's like her, it's her, grandkid it's her daughter who's pregnant so you you can understand that she's a little you know uptight um not even uptight i think it's just like she's so anxious she's so high yeah she can't decrease her arousal my problem was that she was not helpful no she's never been she helpful did nothing to be <laughs> she did nothing to she be helpful no she only she thinks she's a director think, right 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 because moms you know when moms come to something like like not not that not that my mom is in the right home about you know she's fine, but uh, when moms show up, you think that moms are gonna be like, oh okay, oh honey, let me do this, let me clean, let me you know let me cook, but she just shows up and she's like barking orders at you, not really at me because I don't know, I guess she respects. Yeah, she's a tyrant. She respects dominance. <laughs> no, she. Just but I was in the kitchen the whole time and I was like, I had all this. I was I I made I made two lasagnas, crab cakes, a bunch of appetizers. So I was like, yeah, I was in the weeds. She said we were we weren't prepared on time. But she can go kick rocks if she <laughs> thinks that. <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't inaccurate. Had we been ready, we were prepared. It was daylight savings time. We lost an hour. Had we? Well, I mean, it was daylight savings time. It's uh, it's written on the calendar since yeah. January. Yeah. <laughs> we got a new calendar. I'm sorry that the shrimp cocktail's a little late. I mean, <laughs> what was what was delayed? Well, if we were all occupied when it was timed, like if everything was complete by the time people arrived, yeah. then it wouldn't have been so hectic. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Um, and then I would have been able to sit down. Instead of, like, her trying to occupy herself, which is difficult. Mm -hmm. um, All right, so your mom, two out of ten? No, I'm giving her a three out of five. Three out of five. Out of five? What Sorry, three out of five. Three out of five. That, no, that, 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 that's what I meant. I such a challenge raising your child. Yeah. My God. <laughs> All right, three out of five. Yes. All right, yeah. fine. All right, let's go yeah, to uh, family member number two, my sister, Andrea. Mm -hmm. um, she shows up. She shows up with my mom mm -hmm. immediately. She goes in the kitchen. She starts washing dishes. Yeah. Um, she, was, she was very helpful. Mm -hmm. She was there to help. She was there to be like, oh, what can I do? Yeah, you know. she said I was pretty a bunch and skinny. Yeah. I would give her a six out of five. Six out of five? Yeah, she gets extra credit. That's how I that's how I grade my homework in my college courses. It's mm -hmm. at an eight, mm -hmm. and I give nines and tens. Oh, you do? Yeah, and I'm like, I bet people are like, ew, why would I get a nine <laughs> and not a ten? Uh -huh. um, but it's like full credit is eight, and everything else is extra credit above that. Yeah. Um, but All right. Yeah. So she gets a six from me. A six out of five. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she gets extra credit. I said. I'll tell you why. I'm going to give her a four out of five. Oh, shoot. <laughs> because my sister is very. All right. Let me let me let me do a little compliment sandwich here. OK, that's good. This is more of like a compliment tartine. We're going to start with the compliment bread and then we'll go with the criticism. Yeah. Spread or meat or whatever. Yeah. My sister is like she's very helpful. 
she's very when there's a when there's a get together, she's very good at like, can I do anything? She brings stuff, she helps out, she's you know. Yeah, she brought donuts. She's very much a she good a good dishes. like silent silent partner. She was quiet and calm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you give her a bad score. Um the thing with my sister is that she's very she does she's a th- she is very good at being low key annoying. Mm-hmm. She's very good at being sort of passive aggressively annoying. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a I think it's a deliberate it's either a deliberate thing or something that she learned from my mom <laughs> where sh- there was one point where like I needed help getting my food out because everybody wanted people were there people wanted to eat. I wanted help getting my food out on the table and she's just like standing over the sink doing dishes. Yeah. And I think I asked her a couple times, like, can you help me with the food? And she's just like continues to do dishes. Yeah, maybe she just I wanted think to she's complete that task. Some people want to complete tasks before they move on. She to just it. has a way of being like kind of like um, not not she's like indirect with her annoyingness mm-hmm. where she'll be like, oh, well, I don't know. And that sometimes that to me is more annoying than somebody being like, fuck, well, fuck you. Yeah. You know, I can't you'll be like, that, yeah. hey. How about we do this? And she's like, uh, I'm like, hey, how about I, how about we, how about we make these crab cakes? She'll be like, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Is that really like a good idea? Right. You know, and that drives me. So I was like, put the fucking sponge down and do what I tell you to do. That's how I felt. Yeah, you when you want help, you want a slave. You you don't want anyone to no, help. No, I her. want help. I want people <laughs> to. I want. To help, I want help in the way that I need it. That's right. Yeah, you want. Yeah. When I'm having a party and I need some extra hands. Yeah. I should. Wh- why I should direct those extra hands. Yeah. You shouldn't choose what 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 your job is. Mm-hmm. I'm the one having throwing the party. Yeah. So she had one strike. So you struck her down one point. She had two. I'll, I'll tell, let me tell you her other strike. Oh, she still gets a four. She had two minor strikes. Okay, two minor strikes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Two minor strikes. Um, one that one was the just being kind of you know doing the dishes when I that's not what I needed her to do. Right, but I I think this is also like in terms of priority. Like maybe from her perspective, she was like, it's more important to have a party with an empty sink mm-hmm. than it is to get this food out right now. But what was the priority? The priority was getting the food out. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't in her brain. I'm just thinking, like, she probably just didn't. Your mom doesn't like a dirty sink. Yeah. Either. So, yeah. okay, what was her other strike? They're both They're both very, like, they're like Nazis a little bit. They're like clean Nazis, mm-hmm. you know? They're both very wound up. But they're silently wound up. My mom is, they're like, silently wound up. loudly yeah. wound up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then at, at some at one point in the party, I, I decide I want to take Frankie out. We go to the dog park mm-hmm. and my sister's like, <clears throat> she's like, you know, you really should circumcise your kid because people are going to make fun of him if you don't. Like, it's like really gross and blah, blah, blah. And, every, and it, if he's not circumcised, everyone's going to know and he's going to get made fun of because that's what girls do. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, so you and your you and your. You and your floozy friends are just like yeah. laughing at a kid's dick. I'm just imagining some kid, some kid who's at their school. Maybe he's a he. he maybe I he's had an immigrant. No clue what circumcision was. Until maybe he's I was an immigrant an from Russia or something. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe he's a, a a refugee. Maybe he comes from some country that, that the United States bombed, and he's a war refugee. Yeah, and he just got and somebody saw his dick, and it just happened to be uncircumcised, and now all these, all these. All these mean whores are just laughing at him. <laughs> Some poor kid from another country doesn't speak English well. Right. You know? Well, I also think that and he's just he, he he doesn't have any friends because everyone's laughing at his dick. And then he and then he goes home and he just he's just alone every every day after school. Nobody plays with him. That is so cruel. That is cruel. And you think that's normal? And my sister think that thinks that's normal. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, I feel so ba- I feel so bad for this kid that I made up in my head. Yeah, everyone who talked about circumcision lost got a lot of points deducted on my list. Mm-hmm. So now I'm 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 putting Andrea back to a five, but she didn't say yeah. that in my presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she lost her extra credit. All right, so she's like four point five out of five. 
Okay. Yeah. No, you gave her a four. Oh, you're averaging. Yeah, you're averaging. Fours? Yeah. All right. Now let's call. Let's do four out of five. Four out of five. My mom's a three. Andrea's a four. Yeah. Um. But one thing on the circumcision thing, mm -hmm. like I know that every witchy woman that we've spoken to keeps talking about it in this way. Yeah. But that's also we have to keep in mind that like everyone that we know is like in their late twenties. Or 30s at least. Mm -hmm. Those are the youngest people we know. Mm -hmm. And these days, much less people are just automatically circumcising. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. our son will not be the only one. If we choose to not circumcise yeah. him, yeah, he yeah. won't be the only one. Right. Yeah. Um, continue. What's, All right. Who's the next guest? How about the next on the, ch on the, um, on the rating system is uh, your sister. Mm -hmm. I give her a three. Yeah, that's about what I would give her to. Yeah, she was late. She was supposed to be here earlier to set up the decorations. Yeah. Had she arrived on time, she would have been able to better occupy my mother, mm -hmm. which would have taken her off of my back. Did they arrive together? Not intentionally, but yes, at the same time, which okay. was not the plan. Okay. Um, she also spoke a lot about circumcision and that ruined my party. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So Cause she, she cause got I, I, for, I forget strikes. who brought it up originally, but once your once, mom really, and that's why no. she, yes, she did. I was my <laughs> yes, mom. She did. We almost went the whole party <laughs> without anyone really? talking about it. Well, one of your aunts would have brought it up. No, eventually. they have no idea. I never said anything to them. Is that true? Yes. Mm hmm. Nobody would have said anything. So that's where her point deductions come in. But we didn't get there yet. So I did not realize that. And I apologize <laughs> on behalf of my annoying mother. I'm sorry. Otherwise, she was very good. Yeah. But no, she was like, what happened was you were out with Andrea. And I don't I know why she would do that. Andrea cornered you and said it. You yeah. guys came in and everyone was talking about it. Mm -hmm. But that's because your mom was like, did Mike show you the text message I sent him about circumcision and then i was like oh yeah and then amanda was like the baby will be circumcised and then and then it just blew off yeah <sighs> here's what i want to say about it though. i don't want anyone talking about my kid's fucking penis i don't either yeah it's annoying except me but why does yeah and it's just like now i just feel like if we don't do it Everyone, I'm going to deal with this for the rest of my life. Mm. Like they don't shut up and nobody stops bringing it up. And it's so annoying. I wish yeah. I never said anything. They were I don't pretty, trust they anybody. They were pretty aggressive. Everybody was pretty everyone. aggressive about it. We got all that. We got, we, it, it's almost like, cause nobody wants to be ganged up on. We, it's like, we got, we, we literally got like ganged up on by five, by five people. Nasty mom, women. By, by nasty women. <laughs> yeah. Nasty. I don't, my mom would have, that's the only time. Thank she God your good. mom was no, gone. No, my mom wouldn't, my mom would have been like, don't talk about him really? like that. She would have been horrified. Really? Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like that. Yeah. She would think it was mean and, and unpleasant and she'd probably yell in a very different way. Uh huh. In a way that, like, stop this immediately. Your family really is unpredictable. Yeah. You never know where they're going to stand, <laughs> where, the, where the chips are going to fall on certain no, I, issues. No, I feel like I can, I, I'm, I can predict what they're going to do. Really? But, yeah, so Amanda gets three. Yeah. Um, who's next? Um, well, I guess my mom. Do we rate her? We'll give Not her yet. A, yeah. You can go first. Um, I don't know, maybe a three. A three? Oh, dear. Where'd she get two points off? Well, if she she's the one that started that whole shitstorm. You know, it was very weird because I don't I didn't like I mean, I really did not appreciate being kind of like ganged up on. Yeah. I didn't appreciate having let's see, my mom and my sister didn't yell at us, but just having my sister kind of in the background. And she had already said no, it just to you. She had already you. said it just so to me. So you knew what side so she was that, on. So knowing that she's watching it all happen and she's too much of a fucking coward to speak up. Yeah. She just has no fucking backbone. No offense, Andrea, but you have no backbone. <laughs> and you just say things quietly and you don't stand up for yourself. Yeah. And you just kind of like... But knowing that she was in support of everybody else who was yelling at us. Yeah. I don't like... I don't like being bombarded with they stuff like that. They all ruined my party. Yeah. There's no pictures of me in yeah. my nice dress with my nice makeup and my nice hair. Yeah. It was just all I got. I got fat shamed. And I'm sorry, honey. People made fun of my baby's penis. 
so fat shame. So we'll get to that a little later. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that a little later. But um, um, yeah. So I guess my mom can get a. Well, she did help out with stuff. So I guess my mom, my mom can get a three. Yeah, she cleaned up pee twice, so yeah. I would give her a four. Yeah. But maybe a three Amanda, just because she started the circumcision thing. Amanda, your sister is good when there's uh, you know, when there's when there's stuff going on. She's she's you know she's very helpful when mm-hmm. you ask her to do stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I did not appreciate being bombarded like that. I also no. don't like to have. I mean, I I guess I should have more information on it, but I don't. I don't like being caught off guard. I don't like when other people get the last word. I like being informed. Yeah. I like having, I like when I know what I'm talking about. And you, I, I don't have enough time to research every single thing on the planet. Right. But I don't like being caught with my pants down. I felt, I felt like I was caught with my pants down a little bit. I didn't get a chance to be, to, to express my point. I, just I was just getting yelled at. I felt a little, end. I felt a little cucked. Yeah. And nobody would end it. And I just yeah. wanted it to stop and they wouldn't stop. And yeah. it was so annoying and it was unpleasant and it made me feel miserable for the rest of the day evening and then all of the night when i tried to sleep Mm -hmm. my head was just buzzing yeah i'm really sorry about that yeah and i have such bad heartburn i can't stop burping sorry yeah all right so let's give a score to let's see uh how about bobby five out of ten yeah uh, Five out of five. What are you talking about? Five out of five. Ten? Sorry, sorry, Can sorry, s- sorry. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did nothing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Except no, I wanted to kill him at one point. He's like, the slideshow. Can everyone see it? I'm like, yes, everyone can see it. No more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Because I put it on Zoom and I screen shared, and he doesn't understand technology. Yeah, Deb's stepfather. He's a real. <laughs> he's a real man's man. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's one of those. He's one of those guys that's so masculine. He kind of makes you uncomfortable because he's like a union painter. He hunts. He fishes. So you got to find. But but there's usually stuff you can talk about with him. You can talk about movies. You can talk about Trump. You can talk about working out. Yeah. Those are kind of my my go tos. He's probably some that I, somebody that I would never hang out with. He likes in, Columbo too. He likes Columbo. <laughs> He's somebody I would never hang out with in the real. I would never have the chance to, you know, be his friend. Mm-hmm. But he does like he likes westerns and he likes working out and stuff. So there's usually something we can yeah. we can talk about. Yeah, he did a good job. I have no idea he if he sh- likes he or respects me or not. He does that's okay. like you. Yes, yeah. he showed up a little hungover because he was at my stepbrother's house the night before and they were all pounding hard seltzers yeah yeah yeah. he loves to be like every time he has anything he's like look no carbs speaking of hard seltzers you got a new thing of hard seltzers and i mean this is like a cool can a cool design but yeah does the world need more hard seltzers right now well they didn't have a dif- that was the only kind they had mm-hmm. so that's i didn't get it to be different let's yeah. stay on task no, no no this is good though okay good but I'm saying, like, I would not want to start a hard seltzer right now because I'd be like, there's, t- there's too much. This is, company's probably owned by somebody else, and they know yeah. hard seltzer is popular now. So it's called they... Two Robbers, which is kind of a weird name, but it's like got a yeah. Mexican uh, skull logo on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, so it's kind of cool. Who's our next guest? That but we hold are on. But, but I'm just saying, like, my mindset is I'm I operate from a scarcity mindset where I'm like, oh, yeah. there's too many hard seltzers. Right. And I'm sure other people are like, no, we can have a hard seltzer. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're thinking. That's what they're thinking. Okay. Yeah. They're like, let's chime in. It's the All right. Mind. Guest number, I guess, seven. Uh, your uh, your aunt, uh, Miss Jen Paletto. That's my cousin. Your cousin. Jennifer's yeah. my she's cousin. She's more of an aunt than a cousin, though. Can we agree? No, she's my cousin. She's your cousin? Yeah. But she's like, what, 49? She's like almost 50? How old is she? Maybe 48. Yeah. No, because Aunt Jessie is going to be 51, and they're seven years apart. Oh. So she's like, yeah. 43? Yeah. Really? In April, she'll be 43. Oh. Yeah. Well, she's one of these 40-year-olds she's that 42. looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, She looks good. She looks healthy. Now, here, I don't know if you caught this or not, but when she showed up, she was like, oh, yeah, they this, uh... This Asian guy wouldn't let us in the building. <laughs> and she said it like three times. 
Yeah, well, I mean... She brought Staten Island to Brooklyn. She yeah. brought a, a little too much Staten Island here. Well, we did leave and them out in the like, cold for a long fine, time, and fine. nobody was helpful letting them in the house. But I don't know why they couldn't buzz themselves in, but anyway. Because but she I, said it like three times. Because they kept calling me, and I didn't know where my phone was, because and I, I was trying to, be to operate like, the Zoom, because I wanted nothing to, was done on time. Yeah. I wanted to be like, we don't talk about people like that right <laughs> this is brooklyn <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is carol gardens brooklyn we don't we don't call people by their race right yeah you know the movie call me by your name yeah how about call me by my race no <laughs> uh jen i would give a i'm gonna give her a three yeah because she didn't stand up for me when aunt jesse was berating me mm -hmm. and she wouldn't end the circumcision conversation. Mm -hmm. She just she kept, got she got loud. Yeah, yeah, she kept adding on to it because she thinks she's a penis professional because she had three she boys. She's a penis professional. And then I was like, she thinks my she's like line a dick. is gonna be like, we're not talking about she anyone manipulating yeah, any yeah, yeah. of your vaginas, and she's getting vagina surgery. <laughs> so I what's she not getting? Expect, yeah, like laser treatment to tighten it up. It was funny. Be yeah. So she was like, I'm getting vagina surgery, and then she was like. She she's was like, like yeah. We could talk about my I'm vagina, like, and I was like, I'm fuck, like, I did I'm not like, see that coming. Right. She's like, I'm getting, I'm like, I'm like, well, why don't we, why don't we cut, why don't we cut somebody's vagina up then? And she was like, I'm getting mine done. Yeah. And then seeing my mom like giggle, my my mom is such a, she's kind of a phony sometimes, and she's very like, uh, she's fake around people, uh -huh. you know, and uh, to see my mom like giggle about Jen talking about her vagina, like my mom, we never we don't talk about vaginas at all in our house. But we all talk about penises. Yeah, that's absurd. No, you don't. Pussies are off the table. That's insane. actually. I think one time my uncle Tommy had this. He was dating this girl Megan. He some for some he dates these like <laughs> my uncle Tommy. He's like seventy, and he dates and he works. He's seventy and he works at the airport. And, yeah. and he's probably my favorite uncle. Mm -hmm. But uh. Because he hooks us up with flights because he works for United. But uh, he, he dates these like he dates these like younger women that are weird. <laughs> right. That are kind of weird. And uh, he dated this woman, Megan. And I guess apparently Megan like asked my grandfather if he takes Viagra. Oh, weird. And it was like a big scandal. Yeah. So your whole like, that was front page in your family. That was front. I guess that was front page news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so Jen gets a three out of five for uh -huh. that, for the racism, the vagina talking, and the penis expertise, and yeah. the relentless circumcision berating, yeah. and not standing up for me or telling my Aunt Jessie to shut up. People from Staten Island, they seem to think that if you talk, this is like a this is like a very East Coast thing, mm -hmm. but people seem to think that if you like if you talk the loudest, you win the argument. Well, I, I don't know I if hate, it's about I that. I fucking, I don't like that. I don't think it's about that, but it's like, I will raise my voice so that I am heard so that you will hear my argument. And you kind of like just shy back. Like maybe you should raise your voice a little bit more and start being like, I, actually, no. I have spent a lot of my life. Uh, here's the th I, I'm, This might sound dramatic. You can make fun of me if you want. But I've spent a lot of my life getting ignored talked over and silenced so i really don't appreciate when some when yeah. i did i really don't I, I have this i have a very strong resentment for stupid loud people when someone's fucking loud with confidence when someone walks in the room going like yeah. like i so can't why don't you fucking ever stand that, that and just get loud too because you don't you do just that like shrink you should just be like I do don't shrink. talk about my son's penis like that I do shrink, I'm but I'm the not only good. one who gets Deb, a good I'm score not good at yelling at the party. Deb, I'm not. Yeah, you get a you get a ten out of five. <laughs> I get a ten. I'm not, but you I don't want to like, do that. I am the boss. I am not incompetent. Shut up. Yeah, that's how you should be. You should stop with your silentness. It's kind of fun when Deb's around her family because you kind of see her like put her war paint on. You know, like <laughs> everyone's screaming at each other, and she starts screaming, and she gets turned up. Yeah, Cause I, cause I all, never. Cause I haven't all cursed up. that much in. But so I do long. shrink. But I just, I just you feel like you should be you able to. Quit that. You should be able. No, but you should listen. You should be able to communicate your what's going on, 
with words, with well, that's how you, you lose. Know, with data, with facts, yeah, but not in the hearing. real world, Deb. Not They're, in the real see, world. Now I'm Staten listening. Island's <laughs> not the real world. I'm not. No, because I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to scream. Well, you're demonstrating to get my passion. voice. I shouldn't have to scream to get my voice heard. Yeah, well, sometimes you do have to. Otherwise, who cares about your opinion and data? Yeah, but in the real nobody but, hears you. Yeah, but out out there in the fucking respectable in the respectable nobody professional world, t- listen t- to me. See? In the respectable, <laughs> I shouldn't have to yell at my wife. <laughs> I don't want to do that, but you like it. No, I don't care. It turns you on a little bit when I scream. I, well, at it you. doesn't turn me on when you sit there silently trying to calculate data and whisper. What happened to Bernie Sanders when he ran for president? <laughs> what was what know. was what was something? Can they we att- stay on task though? This is my show. <laughs> I thought it was crossover. You're I wanted just the, to use. It. You're just the hole I shoot my. Okay. <laughs> All but, right, Jim but, Jeffrey. But, but uh, but uh, what did they attack Bernie Sanders on in the primaries? I don't know. They attacked him on. They said he was loud. They said he was. Oh, they said he was too loud. And every- he talked over people. Everyone's loud. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? That's just they're just going to find something to say. That's all they had to say. Yeah. I'm just saying that if you don't speak up, then people will speak over you. Yeah. All right. Introduce our last person. Um, my Aunt Jessie yeah. is the last person who attended the party. She is my mom's sister. And growing up, she was one of my favorite people. And throughout adulthood, she has become... I don't know, increasingly annoying and bitchy and difficult to deal with. Um, she's also been a like, bodybuilder my whole life. Mm-hmm. She's always had like an insanely fit body. Yeah. And all she eats is like M&Ms and drinks milk and works out. Your um, aunt is a very interesting character. Mm-hmm. If I had a, I would, I would want to write her into it. If I was writing a sitcom, I might want to write her into it. Mm. She's uh, she's one of those people. It's like you know, I don't know if I like you or not, yeah. but I do kind of respect. I kind of have no choice but to respect you. Yeah, she's mean. She's mean to the point where it's embarrassing. She's really mean. She's, she's really, really rude to people. Negative, right in front of you. Miserable, and right yeah. to their face. Mis- miserable with person. eye contact. Uh huh. <laughs> like uh-huh. mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like she walked into my baby like, shower. What is her fucking problem? And was like, "You better stop eating because your baby's in the ninety-fifth percentile and he's too big and he's not going to fit out of your vagina." What does That's that mean? Literally, the first thing she said. Has she to me. even seen your vagina? She Does hasn't. she even know that you have an above average big <laughs> vagina? I definitely don't, you fuck. Um, but no, she was just like, so she was just speaking incorrectly, though, because yeah. she thought that my baby was over five pounds, mm-hmm. that our baby was over five pounds. But I d- said to her, he, he's just over four pounds, yeah. which is completely normal. Normal. He yeah. is where he is supposed to be. Yeah. And she's completely wrong. And then she starts taking it back. She's like, oh, well, you are short, so it is your whole torso. And I'm like, but I don't even feel that huge. People like her. You, I'll tell you what's funny about your aunt. Your aunt is, uh, uh, it seems like she's always surrounded by these uh, these very, these really, really nice guys who are, like, in love with her. I don't know what that mouth do. <laughs> 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 well, she always has had a hot body. She's always had a hot body. She's got a nice body. And she's what? She's like she's like 51. She will be 51. She was born. She doesn't in look 19... like a 51 year old. She was born in 1970. So I always mm. know what age she is. OK. Because of the year. Yeah. 1970. She's got a she's got a really cool boyfriend. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Um, oh, I got yeah, heartburn. Like, like heartburn. Like really, real really point. pleasant. You know, really pleasant. Like, you know, yeah. alpha. <laughs> and then she's got an he ex-husband works for Verizon, works for Verizon. <laughs> just a just a good guy just going in manholes and climbing poles yeah yeah <laughs> he said the funniest thing he was like yeah he was talking about that Matt Damon movie Great Wall mm-hmm. and he was like yeah people are mad because Matt Damon was in the Plato was in the movie about China but I don't know the guy's fighting a fucking dragon what do you want um, she's got an right. ex-husband who's probably who's a, who's also you know good guy. Yep, sanitation tall guy, worker. alpha, alpha, alpha to his core, sanitation worker. You know, I don't know <laughs> about alpha. He's very passive, like you. Is he? Yeah. All right. Comes off. He seems like an alpha to <laughs> he's me. Very nice. But he's nice. Yeah. Yes. But he's like a six foot four sanitation worker. Yeah, he's yeah. very nice. One time right. he he he, t- <laughs> he like 
on a really hot day, you, you pick up a garbage bag and yeah. it, the bag kind of stretches and your hand's sweaty and it yeah. slips and he punched himself in the face. That's not that funny. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. You're just in love with him. No. <laughs> um, but that's so funny. Uh, the thing about sanitation workers, it's it's annoying knowing one because if you ever tell them you want anything, yeah, they won't let you just like order it. They're like... Give me a day. Yeah. <laughs> They're like maybe someone. Oh right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't believe those pasta bowls that we have in yeah. the in the cabinet. Those are from Got Junk. Mm-hmm. I, there's stuff that I threw out that I still think about to this day. Yeah. I'm like, why did I throw that stuff out? Anyway, a couch in particular. Um, so Aunt Jessie, she gets a three. What I didn't like was that she called she called my dog fat. Yeah, I don't know. She thinks everyone's fat. She's so annoying. There's no way she didn't there, uh, so so hearing this there's no way that she didn't there wasn't some comment in the car ab- or whatever about my, about my weight. <laughs> I don't know. There's no way she doesn't look at me and go he's fucking <laughs> he's fucking fat. <laughs> and my weight fluctuates, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Well, now you're just assuming because you don't know that. No, there's no um, way she the didn't. Only she, thing didn't that she didn't at least think it about my, you know. But but whatever. The only thing that the only thing that gives Aunt Jessie a three and nothing less is mm-hmm. she really didn't do too much harm with the circumcision talk. She's like, "It's your kid. You do whatever the fuck you want. I don't like people telling me anything about my mm, kid." Yeah. So and then she's like, "Ask Chris. He had half a foreskin still on his penis. He lasered it off at 36." Well, ask him how it is. And then she was like, do whatever you want. Like, don't let anyone touch uh, your baby. Don't let anyone hold your baby. I'm not coming for a month. Like, so she was the only one. I mean, I hate that she fat shamed me as soon as she walked in. But, like, that's her version of hello. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you have Stockholm Syndrome. And she is quiet. I think she's the beast from Beauty and the Beast. And you're Belle. Why? I don't know. I don't agree at all. You love your kidnapper. What? In what way are you trying to say that? I'm saying she's evil and annoying. Mm. The only thing that gave her no less than a three mm-hmm. is because she did not try to push circumcision on me. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Otherwise, she's evil. Yeah. But she's quiet, too. She says she doesn't yell that much. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Why? What score would you give her? A two? A one. A one? Maybe a two. <laughs> no, yeah, I, no, I, I give know. her a three. I don't know. I don't know. I give ever all my relatives get three. Yeah. What did my What did my mom get? They just. I give her. Did he just cry? A four, I guess. Did my dog just cry? Maybe a three because she started the circumcision talk. Mm-hmm. Um, but she did clean up pee twice. Who? My mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So fine. it's like, and she is helpful. Yeah. Um, and she did make a salad that no one ate except me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be. I know she was telling me to keep it simple, and then nobody ate her salad. Nobody um, ate the simplest thing. Yeah. <laughs> look, I don't want to be. Is that what I look like? I look so fat. <laughs> look at the mirror. Yeah, and Jesse said that you were gaining some weight. She did. No, I bet she did. <laughs> why do I? Why do I look and feel skinny in the morning, and then at night I just something? Because you bloat at night and you eat all day. You've eaten M and M's all day. Agree to disagree. <laughs> um, but listen, so, uh, so she, um, so I don't. I just. It just feels like when you talk about circumcision. Yeah. You can talk about circumcision with guys, and they're like, "Yeah, you know, whatever." No, I, it's some some people have different opinions on it, obviously, with the information they get. But it seems like the most pushback that you get is from, and this might be misogynistic. It's from women. It's, it's from women. women. It's from nasty and, women who and, think it's all about aesthetics. And, and and maybe this is this is just I don't I don't want to be misogynistic, but maybe the devil is a woman. No, I don't disagree. I don't know. Yeah. But um And it's just I weird. Just it's just w- but it's this weird thing where like what what the, the way I feel about it is the only conversation we should be having is over health and cleanliness. If it's going to if I f- if I thought my son was going to get sick because he had a foreskin, I would say, "All right, let's remove it." But then they always bring this into they always bring into the conversation the fact that He's going to get made fun of. It's not going to be good. It's, it, it, 
you can tell that they don't like the idea of putting an unclipped penis in their mouth, mm-hmm. which it's like you don't ever have to see that baby's dick or it or, makes me not want any of them near my baby. S- right. It makes me if like, you, don't yeah. tell me you want to help me because you've already put too many negative thoughts in my head. Yeah. I don't want you changing his diaper. I don't want you giving him a bath. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable with you changing his clothes yeah. or helping him get ready for the pool. Yeah. I don't. There's a part of me that doesn't like you now. Yeah. And I don't want you near my baby. Yeah. Because I don't want you to make him feel bad. And right. I don't want you running your mouth. I don't want you making a face. To all the, yeah. So it makes me like disgusted with everyone. Mm-hmm. And they ruined my party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm happier in isolation mm-hmm. than I am out of al- isolation. And that's the nice thing about being an adult is that, <gasps> is that you have a shitty, you grow up, you have a shitty family. And then you get to start your own family. Yeah, and I don't want anyone near my baby who And then has your to kid ends up hating anything you. Anything negative about them. And then your them. kid ends up hating growing up and hating you and he's like I'm going to start my own family. Yeah. Maybe or maybe not. Going back to Bobby, the only person who got a good score at the uh, party. Um his kids love him. Yeah. <laughs> so Andrea got a good score. Yeah. 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 But um but still, she gets knocked down because of circumcision, and it just, like, it makes me upset. It makes me, like, I already feel like I'm going to be overwhelmed when the baby comes. Yeah. Now I have another thing on my mind that I have to think about, like, you're thinking negative things about my baby. Mm-hmm. And he just, he's not even here yet. Mm-hmm. He's still inside me. Yeah. And... I, like, what, are you going to bring it up at every birthday party, every celebration? You're going to tell everybody ever, in the whole if family? If he ever overhears you talking about his dick, we're going to have uh, we're gonna have words. And it's insane that I even have to think, think about, about this. Yeah. So I hate everyone in, yeah. in a, a little bit. And I said that. I was like, I can't think of who here I'm the most annoyed with because mm-hmm. I'm annoyed with all of you. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll tell you what. There's a little shortcut in some t- sometimes there's there's life has these little shortcuts to understanding the big questions. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when there's a big kind of controversial issue that you don't know anything about. Yeah. Sometimes what you have to do is look at the people who are saying what and look and p- the people who are on either side and just think about who you like more. So with the with complicated issues like whatever it is like economics or 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 it's cultural issues or whatever. Some and so circumcision is a you know controversial issue. But there's people who are like, yeah, don't do it. That's cruel. And then there's people who are like, you better cut. You better do it. Or pe- people are gonna laugh at him. Well, then if that's what motivates you and you're so that's like you're the- full of fear. That's the scene in Carrie. You're operating out of fear. What's <laughs> makes that? Makes everyone an oh, enemy. They're all gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. Like yeah. that is a scene that's portraying a character yeah. as undesirable. Yeah. So like you're already just spewing undesired. Like it's one. Like it just feels so cucked to me. Unsolicited advice is such an undesirable trait in a person. People mm-hmm. need to work on that. Yeah. Like don't a- don't tell anybody anything that they haven't asked for yeah 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 i like i don't care and if i if i wanted to know your opinion i am an adult and Mm -hmm. i will come and i will ask ask you and if you're telling me your opinion you're you're trying you're basically telling me you think i'm an idiot because you think you know something i don't know yeah like oh that you're more likely to get utis and stds like do you think that i didn't google that like real quick and every single research study had it show that it was not even statistically significant. Yeah. The di- yes, there is a difference, but it is like one l- percent or less. Uh-huh. So it's and don't tell me that an individual is born with a body part that they're not supposed to have. Not supposed to have, yeah. If, and especially if the human race is meant to perpetuate and to continue to exist, then the penis is a big part of that. And they're you know, the universe is not just sending out faulty penises. Yeah. In ways in which they don't work. Right. Or that would detri- be a detriment to the population. Right. Right. What if we cut one of your pussy lips off? That would be bad. Well, people like that surgery. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's as a baby, no, it's insane. It's I'm insane. just saying that men are the most persecuted group in our society. Yeah, hysterical, Mike. I'm too fired up to find you funny. 
Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just the the. I guess the last thing I'll say is this: is that it feels like. Oh boy. My dog needs to go out. <laughs> He's sad. Um. I'll oh take you out. my. It ju- it it just it just feels like your family will always be like. No, of course you do what you want to do. It's your kid. I, it's none of my business. I'm not. I'm not the kid's parent. But, as long as but you're doing everything I can just, that they want, as long as you're doing everything that they want, and I can just tell. I just have a feeling that there's gonna be a little bit of there's gonna be a little bit of the butting of heads uh, about a few things. I can already tell that we're gonna get a lot of. We th- there's a chance we're gonna get some unsolicited advice here. So we just gotta stay strong. Maintain a unified front and not. Well, t- I not think you should tell everyone that Deb stuff. has a master's degree. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so I have a fucking master's degree. Parents ask me for advice. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also have read five parenting books so far. I research things extensively mm-hmm. all the time to a point where I am pretty obsessive. Mm-hmm. So, like, I have weighed a- all of the options a lot of the times mm-hmm. so if i'm i'm either going with the smartest decision yeah or the most instinctual it's decision. just weird hearing your sister be like he will be circumcised well she also had like half a bottle of wine at that point yeah well she better not be drinking when the baby's born but she will Why? be at work so <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um oh, i have such bad heartburn now like but yeah, I don't want anyone telling me anything. I yeah. don't. I'm not asked unless I ask you. Like, you know, when did you start putting shoes on your kid? Which mm-hmm. is a question I've asked. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to know. I guess I don't because I'm like I don't think I need shoes. Yeah. And uh, like you know, if I ask about taking a bath, mm-hmm. like little things, because mm-hmm. there's really not a ton of information about like very ordinary little things. Mm-hmm. Like, when will I put my first outfit on my baby? When will I put clothes on my baby? Mm-hmm. Like, how soon after birth does that happen? Right. Um, these are questions that I have that people may answer. Right. Um, but no, if you're going to ask me in terms of, like, how I will feed my baby or, like, what m- medical course of action I will take, like, th- I am not going to ask you that because mm-hmm. I'm going to figure that out for myself mm-hmm. by educating myself and going with my instincts. Mm-hmm. Ah! Here's the last thing I want to say. Mm-hmm. Why is Oprah so good at what she does? What does Oprah, she do that makes her special? Somebody, so Julian Toon from Caroline's mm-hmm. said to me that very early on in Oprah's career, she decided to hone and own everything. So she maintained herself and her own brand. Like she owned the lights, she owned the cameras, mm-hmm. she was like the executive producer. Mm-hmm. So she never was in the game mm-hmm. being told what to do by other people, mm-hmm. which brings me back yeah. <laughs> to my point in Perfect. my child. Perfect. And that's why Oprah is exceptional. All right. I got a crying dog. Support the show on Patreon, patreon.com slash sit down pod. Check out Deb's podcast, the unexpected podcast. It's mm-hmm. about uh, pregnancy and, and parenting. Uh, and parenting, and uh, I got a show coming out soon. The dad show, where yeah. I talk to dads. I got. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the guy with two podcasts, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> patreoncom slash pod Five bucks a month gets you a 20 minute show every single day, and we will see you guys next week. Love you. Bye bye.